snuff each other out as it were. Dawson Devoy now for Bohemians. The cross comes into Omacher. Omacher turns. Good save by Moore, and it'll be a throw in, or corner, corner kick, I should say, to Bohemians. Fantastic turn there by Amateur, and just really, really just great speed. Like that first touch, Devoy did very well just even to get the cross in, but Amateur does most of the work here. He comes in, control that first touch, second touch, and then, you know, great save by, by Moore, obviously. Yeah, true, true. Uh, of course, all those games for Northern Ireland are in Southampton, I believe. Yes, they are. In uh, Southampton Stadium. St. Mary's. Yes. Uh, here we go with a chance for UCD. First real chance of the game. Oh, and oh, Thomas Lonergan there has won a corner kick. He has indeed. Thomas Lonergan uh, still waiting to break his duck for UCD, I believe, Declan. And uh, that's a big one UCD fans are waiting on. But a um, really good chance there. We're going to see the replay now. And again, it was sort of, you know, it, was, it looked like it was going to be half a chance. But, you know, ball manages to get one foot out. It's a Bose clearance. And again, it isn't quite clear. And uh, there's a bit of bundling going on in the half on the halfway line. UCD seem to be giving the advantage. Yeah, Lonergan, it's not Lonergan, sorry, D D D Keen Darren Keane, yeah. enjoying the open space here. There's uh, Lonergan There's now. Lonergan, sorry, now, yeah, yeah, I couldn't read the number correctly. And oh my word, what Thomas! A, there's your goal! What a way to break your duck, Thomas Lonergan with his first goal for the UCD first team. Very similar type of an angle and shot to the one he tried earlier, but this time it goes in. And we're going to get another look at this shortly, but my word, what a way to do it. Well, you did anticipate that there would be a goal for UCD in your own way. I think keep it 2-0 until half-time. Uh, might be a chance to regroup at half-time. We're supporting, or I'm supporting Northern Ireland in this uh, Euros anyway. Cross comes in for Bowes. It's headed clear by Keeney. Only as far as Tyreek Wilson. Flores with a shot, oh and it's gone word. in. It's been misjudged by the goalkeeper. Wildly by Kian Moore. Flores with an absolute beast from the outside. Moore just did not know where he was looking, where he was standing. Flores taking full advantage. Goal out of pretty much nowhere for Bowes there, Declan. And, uh, you know, very, very poor form for UCD to give that up. We've got a chance to see this here. It's a simple clearance. One pass. Absolute thwack from Flores. And that's the way it's going to go. Todd back to Moore. Moore is going to send it out to Keeney. And Keeney's going to try another approach. Keeney sends it long for Keane to run on to. But that's headed out by Josh Kerr. But it falls to Lonergan. Lonergan. And Lonergan's oh not far word. away with and the second. I looked like it might have been going well anyway. But Ty Grind couldn't know that and took, didn't take a chance. Ta got his hand on it to make sure it went out of play. But Lonergan, he's just trying to get all the FIFA highlights here right now. Devoy won a throw in there for Bowles, although I thought it hit him last, to be honest. But that uh, you got a better angle than I did, Declan. The assistant appearance. referee may not have noticed that. Cross comes into a chair. Oh, not surely. Yes, absolutely. Second goal for Bohemians from Liam Burt. Burt. You know, just a depth of the touches in there from Burt, like you know. And since they scored that equaliser, it has been largely all bows, Declan. I don't think we can really argue that they aren't good for the lead right now. It felt like glorified pre-season. And also, you never got at the group stage. Which no. Is very annoying. Whereas, at least with knockout football, it's knockout football. Well, the one... I think well, the Bowes on the attack here, and I think we've got to see what's going to happen. Nice shot. Oh. shot. And a shot from Jordan Flores, hoping to add to his tally. He got their first goal, of course. Yeah, yeah. Waiting for her to score. And Guru Wrighton with her second assist of the night, so quite okay. a good night from his Wrighton. A goal and two assists. Yeah. And we are only about four minutes away from full time in the Brandywell. As soon as we have that, we will yeah. share that result and with Guru you. Guru Wrighton well on her way to a Player of the Match award. Given the uh, depth of her contribution to said proceedings. Sullivan, the Bohemian substitute, is down. Uh, Bohemians are looking to bring on the physio. My teeth. Oh, that's what it was. Mm. Okay, sorry. I was, thought that was a like, oof deck. Don't go there. <laughs> no, no, no. So, Bo's very casually playing it out. They know UCD have to be the ones to bring the pressure now. Like, there's only a minute and change. Junior Ogede Ozokwe. And that is a and penalty. And that is a penalty. You think you'd learn when you got away with one not to do that again? Indeed. But like I know very to that one as well, very little question on it. Like, uh, as, and as soon as he felt the contact, uh, you know, Ogede is okay, knew exactly what to do. 
just going to do what he regularly Odds on favourite to score this one. Well, it's apparently you always are odds on favourite. True. Devoy. Goal. Well, to be, sa to be fair, the keeper guessed the right way. He did, but Devoy put enough venom on that to make sure there was very little doubt of that. And, that and I, think that, I think the three points are definitely on the way to Daly Mount on the bus. Indeed. Remind me to tell you off air on one of my little stories. You'll enjoy it. Okie dokie. Somebody well known for another sport. Uh, and it is full time. UCD 1, Bohemians 3. Bows take all for three points, having gone a goal down to a fantastic goal early in the game by UCD, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, I think it was, uh, it was a bit of slog at times. Um, pitch was very dry. Uh, surprised it wasn't watered in the first half. It was in the second half in the game. Sped up a little bit. We were able to uh, move the ball quicker. Um, you know, uh, yeah, we, we, we don't help ourselves. We go behind a goal. Um, and But then we come back into the game quite well. Uh, we equalise. Um, and, and yeah, we go in at half-time. Like I said, we, we timed our goals well. And we go into a uh, half-time. It could be a completely different scenario if it's one all or if we go in one nil down. So um, I have to give credit to the boys for coming back in the manner that they did. And, and obviously, I think we controlled large periods of the second half without really creating a huge amount of chances. And you get the penalty at the death.